Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 25th of September 2024. So gold surges to new record high on soft data slump, stocks and bonds dump and pump. We're going to need uh, more China stimmies. Is the subhead. U.S. stocks eat mile gains after revising initial weak consumer confidence uh, triggered uh, selling. Uh, rebound also occurred in the backdrop of China's recent uh, stimulus boost as well, but they won't work in the long term. Uh, Treasury's bid and dollar sinks on woeful consumer confidence while China announces stimulus. So uh, anything to try and keep the markets up in China. Economic news for today, new home sales and crude oil uh, inventories uh, are the only ones that are out today. Right, let's uh, get on with it. Let's have a look at these all-time highs, uh, not only in gold, but also the uh, Dow Jones and also the uh, S&P 500 as well. But let's kick off with the Dow. So in the Dow, we can see uh, we put in another new all-time high yesterday. This is coming in at uh, 42,289. There seems to be no end to the madness, does there? So, yep. Yeah. Dow up there, 30 minute chart, very choppy session yesterday, which you can see there as well. A lot of volume around the opening of the cash market yesterday as well, which is interesting. As I say, I think there's a bit of a distribution phase going on here at the moment. But overnight, uh, price is finding a bit of support sideways. They're trying to uh, make the way back to the DP close. And if we get to yesterday's high uh, during today's uh, session there, then we will have another new all-time high. Meanwhile in the German DAX uh, we've got the market uh, sideways to lower. We didn't make uh, a new all-time high yesterday. We came very close but we didn't quite uh, manage it overnight. Uh, we're already seeing a bit of weakness there but Germany has got problems in its economy but uh, <laughs> since when has that made uh, any difference uh, to uh, moving stock prices lower? So yesterday we were up, we then came down and we had that sideways move that we saw in the Dow market up. But overnight, Germany is down. It's below the DP there as well. So a bit of weakness around, but it has got support to the left of where it found this yesterday afternoon. So uh, let's see what happens there. But we've got a bit to get back through the 19,048 at the moment. In the S&P 500, we have a new all-time high, 5738.3. And overnight, uh, we've got a bit of a pullback there. You look at the 30 minute chart again, you see this thing of the open sell off the stocks, then bring them back. It's uh, interesting. This is this pattern has dominated now for at least two or three weeks on the open of these markets. Uh, up yesterday in the electronic session, back down, and then managing to pull back up as the breakfast traders came in and played the futures and then the market uh, dumping with the cash and then back up after the selling's out of the way. The DP has allowed this market to find support along with the 50 EMA there. You've got the high and the close uh, not too far away there as well. Meanwhile, in uh, the UK, we were sideways. There's not a lot to report there. That's all 30 minute charts. Uh, we moved higher in the futures and then the cash followed through for a moment or two before the selling came in and then overnight we've seen selling down to the S1 and now at the low the market is trying to get back above this low so it can uh, move higher towards uh, yesterday's high. It'll need to take this out, if not then uh, we move lower there. Right, let's have a look at the US dollar, an interesting picture there overnight. So the US dollar is below 100, it's at uh, 99.927 as I record. So uh, this is going to be interesting to see if it can actually hold. I mean, it's been below this before, obviously, but uh, given the situation and backdrop of what we've got at the moment, choose. So, so let's have a, a look through here. Uh, let's go with the monthly chart. And uh, you can so you can see, but it's been holding in the monthly chart, hasn't it? That's an interesting one. Let's just have a look at the low of this. This is 99. Zero 09. So 99 is really the kicker for this market. So even though we're below the 100, it's 99 that's going to be the, uh, it's going to determine whether the market is or the US dollar is going to continue lower there. So we've been all the way down to 90 if we take 99 out. This is what I love about monthly charts. It gives you a great backdrop of where the market's been and where it li it's likely to uh, trade to. So if the dollar is down, gold is up, which we saw in the headline. So let's have a look at the metals. 
Kicking off with silver, it was allowed to move higher yesterday. Don't hold your breath. 32.25 is where we got to. Let's have a look at the monthly charts. We still haven't taken out $32.50, which we need to. Whether we can do that or not, who knows? Uh, last time we got to, we had the, last, the next three months with the market trading down and hitting a low of 20 six wasn't it 26.34 so we could soon give back uh, six dollars in uh, this move here I, I again I'm not convinced I'm not convinced but then I'm just cynical after the 30 odd years I've been watching it where it uh, is not allowed to move back to the all-time highs so in the daily yesterday it broke out but overnight already you can see they're already starting to sell into this it's how far they will uh, uh, allow it to pull back if it breaks the dp then we're probably going to go lower so don't be surprised if we come back to the dp if we can get through though it would be great because so uh, if we can hold above that 3250 then uh, it's going to be heading towards uh, 35 i don't think i have the data on this platform but we'll have a look tomorrow with a bigger time frame uh, in a different uh, provider in gold continues to make new all-time highs we've got another one overnight uh, this obviously being helped by the escalation of war in the middle east uh, 2670 but again that's seeing a bit of selling coming in there as well and this is overnight actually uh, they tried to sell into it there but it was having none of it reversed with the green bar and uh, shot up but sitting on the close at the moment uh, this is only going to go higher i can't see this uh, being below three thousand dollars announced by christmas it's certainly uh, moving strongly there so look at the gold silver ratio and uh, yesterday being allowed to uh, break to the downside there and uh, starting to move back up so 84 is uh, the area that it'll want to come back up again let's just have a look at a bigger time frame of this let's just drop it into a weekly for a moment uh, and again you can see that we were allowed uh, during uh, may to come all the way down to um, we've got a low there of uh, 73.13 before we then went back up to 88 uh, and beyond so we'll see we'll see it just depends whether it's going to hold in uh, the the daily chart of uh, silver right let's have a look at yesterday's trades and a quick look at what's happening overnight in the German DAX so yesterday we saw the market moving strongly to the upside in the pre-market futures again pumping the markets up and uh, this did continue uh, for a moment or two and then we saw the selling coming in and the market trading down to the R1 where I took profits at that level because uh, it's likely to turn around when it hits one of these lines and that's exactly what it did and the market then moving up for the news or taking no notice of the news moving up to the R1 sorry the R2 there uh, you can see the retracement there before we get the next uh, move down and then price is uh, moving sideways and then we go through the mid morning where the market was just stuck in a range which you can see there and then in the afternoon uh, we had a potential buy signal the market uh, then put in a potential sell which wasn't filled the market then moved through the 200 ma but got stuck there then we had the news market putting in a sell order there which is just before the news so not one that uh, to be a fan of despite the fact that it made a profit market then put in another uh, sell there with another profit the market uh, moving down and then uh, moving all the way back there as you can see in the after hours uh, trading for this market heading back towards uh, the r2 where it had been uh, earlier on uh, in the day there okay let's have a look at where we are overnight and uh, at the moment you can see prices are sideways to lower let's uh, crush the chart up as they say condense it so we can see what we've got so we're not far off the low at the moment we're about uh, 70 points down towards the low and uh, and if we break the low we've got the s2 conversely we've got to get this market turned around and pump back to the upside we've got to get through the dp the 200 ma the close and yesterday's high there so you can see where we are with a bit of a downtrend overnight going on at the moment but don't be deceived by that at all or the fact that there are problems uh, in germany as well 
Okay, that will do it for this one. And not much economic news today, so again, that'll allow the markets to move to the upside. So have a great day, and uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.